Internal divisions are threatening the country's political parties as they gear up for the 20th legislative election coming up in less than four weeks' time. The pressure is building up as the clock winding down. Our political correspondent Ji Myung reports. At the ruling's Henry Party, the so-called pro-Pak faction of lawmakers loyal to President Park Geun-hye is under fire for its candidate nomination process. Most pro-Pak lawmakers have been given the go-ahead to run in the April 13th election without primaries, while non-Pak members have been left out. Henry Chairman Kim Musong, who also heads the non-Pak faction, boycotted Thursday's Supreme Council meeting in protest after the nomination committee, controlled by Pak loyalists, refused to reconsider the decision. Kim's action drew the ire of Kim Tae-ho, a key pro-Pak member. It was immature of Chairman Kim to boycott the Thursday meeting when he is the leader of the Senate Party. But we will go ahead with the meeting to discuss pending issues. During the meeting, Supreme Council members said they would demand an apology from Kim, but Kim has refused. Later in the day, another member of the non-PAC faction, three-term lawmaker Jin Young, quit the party because he was left off the nomination list. He said that as someone who has been with the party for 20 years, he felt betrayed. He will now run as an independent. Over on the opposition side, the main opposition Minju Party of Korea is also keeping incumbent lawmakers off its nomination list, and it too is seeing the consequences. The party has eliminated 30 sitting lawmakers from its nomination list so far, which is 30 percent of its 105 seats in parliament. And on Thursday, first-term lawmaker Poo Jae-yeon, who was left off the nomination list, defected to the minor opposition People's Party. The People's Party had been considering a merger with Minju, but that plan has since lost one of its biggest advocates. Senior People's Party member Kim Ang Gil, who had been at odds with co-leader An Cheol Su over the merger, conceded defeat and announced he will not run in the election to take responsibility for failing to unite the Liberal bloc. Kim Young-gil, Arirang News.